so so a queen to start with a seabat. Turn card um, I think brings our equities a lot closer together now. So I think it's quite a neutral card in terms of uh, who it favours more. But I think on balance it's better to double barrel than to check back here. There's still plenty of hands we can get value from slash some protection versus. I don't think um, this card on the river changes much, except for the fact that we now beat Queen Jack. So now I think we want to overbet here. So I don't think um, King 10 is really a thing here. Tough spot if he does have her, like Queen Jack here, as uh, we're wrapping quite a narrow value range here. Oh wow, yeah, he's Queen. Base 3 on the left. Facing quite a big bet. I think I'm less inclined to check raise here, so I think we'll continue with the just call. And on this turn card, we're going to lead. We're just essentially we're just setting our own price uh, to see the river card here, as uh, this turn card obviously is much better for us than it's for him. And and we do get there. So now we're just trying to maximise our value versus King X. So let's value about the river. Cool, nice hand. So this guy had um, ace king when we had um, ace three, six, eight of hearts. I think we'll start with the check uh, on this board. The eight peels. I think we will now start with a well, start the lacy batting versus his ace highs. So this is quite an interesting river card. Definitely has some ace x floats here on the turn. Maybe some ace x of spades. Maybe even a hand as strong as like ace queen. Um, so we're going to check to hopefully induce a bet uh, from his ace x. Wow, so these guys check back an ace on the river. That's insane. So if I have an ace there, then he bets. If he's not betting an ace, then he's only betting a six. Um, you know how ridiculous that sounds. Jacks, we're going to call this all in. And he's got Queen Jack. <clears throat> that's a set uh, on the second board, and I think that's going to do it. Alright, nice hand. 8, 7 on the right. Uh, we're going to come in for a raise. Getting 3-bet on this flop. Uh, I don't know if he does this with his ace of spades. I wonder if he's more weighted to sets um, versus the hands that we crush. I think we'll continue with a just call. Uh, we're going to check back because uh, we're a little bit um, confused um, with this line. Yeah, and we're just going to go to showdown. And uh, yeah, Jack Deuce. Mm, surely he's only just repping a 9 here. It's not going to have too much 9, surely, as 9 is going to have comprised a lot of his bluffing range on the turn, like Jack 9, 10-9. Uh, so if he's not going to have those hands, he's going to be more weighted towards bluffs, right? Especially when we have a 10 as well. So we're going to hero this. Nice hand. Nice to pick up a pair here on the turn. It'd be good enough for us to continue uh, to the river. I'm just praying for a check here um, so that he's going to have um, 6x and 3x quite a lot. If he bets, he should be betting quite big here. Um, but he does just bet like a medium size. It seems quite strange to me why he would do this, as I don't think this represents a flush. I feel like we're going to hero this. Versus missed spades. Yeah. Missed spades. Deuce four suited. Pretty deep here. So we'll go to a flop. He saw me raise here before with the pair plus flush draw. I think we'll disguise a hand by just calling here with four height. If we check back, I'm not sure if we can find a way to win this hand on the river. 
So I think we'll just bet uh, two thirds here. We have plenty of um, Queen X and also some strong Jack X, I think, that we put into our range here in addition to our weak um, flush draws. So yeah, nice hand. Kings, uh, just going to try and go for a limp three bet here. Uh, it's quite an aggressive player. Um, right, we're going to lead here. Okay, so this could be a really nice turn card here. Uh, I think we will double barrel, hoping to get raised here, of course. And uh, we do. So I think we're going to continue with the just call here, as we're still going to get another bet on the river from his bluffs and his jack X. So I don't think we need to worry about not getting any more money in, uh, on the river. Really hard for us to be bluffing this spot here. Um, but of course we have a mandatory raise uh, with kings. It's quite hard to make our hand look very weak. Uh, I think it's played. Yeah, I think it's a tough one. Okay, interesting flop here with pocket nines. Uh, no spade. I think... We'll check back this flop. I think pocket nines with a spade, I think would be a high frequency um, stab on the flop, as I think we can. It's easier to con continue versus check raises. So I think that's played now. Uh, we'll continue with the call. So he should be able to value bet his over pairs here. I mean, I know we block a lot of the natural bluffs. But he does also have a lot, a bunch of spades that missed as well. I think we're going to hear this um, with pocket nines. Yeah, nice hand. It's pretty much um, the hand that makes um, the most sense. And two pair. <laughs> we lose against uh, a rivet set. So I think queens here. I think we're going to check back this turn card. Okay, great to see the check. So, I mean, either he's um, going to be check raising with his flushes here, or he's checking to call versus my bluffs um, with um, like a 9 or a 10x. So, we are going to bet quite big here on this king to try and represent uh, a king when we may have a bluff so that you can hero with his um, 9x uh, or 9 or 10x. It should be pretty hard for him to put us on pocket queens here. Given we check back um, the turn, yeah. So he had um, queen ten. Pretty much summed up uh, what he was thinking in that hand. Nine seven. We'll go for a check back here. So I think you can start betting now with quite um, a lot of hands, some king x, some flush draws. Uh, but when he goes for a small sizing like that, uh, it feels like he's now trying to rep some kind of a pocket fours, pocket fives type hands. So of course we'll continue calling. That small sizing is basically saying he wants to get a bit of protection versus my ace queens, ace jacks. So when everything bricks out, um, I think we can quite comfortably value bet our 7x here versus his um, under pairs. Feels like we're only really repping a hand like ace 10 with this bet, um, which is um, the story that we're trying to tell. Okay, so we opened call 3 bet, called 4 bet. So I think we only have one move here. We're just going to go all in. All right, good luck us. Be quite keen to win this one, especially with all the dead money in. Nice. Flop a set uh, of fives on the right here. So let's concentrate on this hand. I think we will go with a check call this time uh, with the set fives. Uh, we don't always um, check raise our sets here um, just to protect um, the weaker parts of our range when we do have like um, a flush draw or just like a king x. Um, besides he's got a lot more um, stronger sets than us on this flop. I think we'll just continue check calling here with the set fives. It's really nice to have this hand. Uh, when we um, play this hand this way on the river, so we can very easily um, at least call um, river bets. Question is, do we raise, and what do we actually get um, value from? Especially versus this sizing, 
Um, and we could even be beat to be fair. He could even just have like a jack. I'm not sure if we do go for a raise here. I think we'll just call. And uh, he's got a three diamonds. 10, 8. I think we can go for a small uh, stab here on the flop. You can easily call check raises um, like this. So continue. 10, 8. Um, we are going to bet the turn when check to. I think we'll just go for a small sizing. I think we've really confused him with our bet sizings here. Um, with this 10 8 hand. Yeah. I see a decent flop here with 5 6. Uh, I think we can go for a 2 thirds C bet. I think we do double barrel here. Uh, it would be a shame we've ran into, ran into like 7 8 of diamonds or kind of any 8x of diamonds. Uh, but we will bet twice here. And I think we just check back river here. Mm, and he did have an 8. Right, going to go to a flop here with jack 9 suited. And that's not much for us to get excited about. But he does check the flop. Could this be one of our zero equity bluffs? Okay, we'll check um, turn. Uh, I think on this river card, I think we're going to try and go for an overbet bluff here with our missed clubs and also our queen x. Nice. Ace four. I think we're going for a raise. Set out the next couple of big blinds. So, of course, we have a very nice natural bluff here but the, but I just don't know if I feel like he's going to be calling down I feel like we're going to get looked up here well we're definitely going to get looked up with king nine all right and that's the end so I think we're up like um a couple of big blinds here um sorry, not a couple of big blinds uh up um a couple of buy-ins yeah, pretty pleased um with the way we played and uh, yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the session. See you next time.